we are. So I'm going to make this image and I'm just going to like do something like this. And let's say that I want this white to not be white. Let me make this a little bit larger. Let me hide this. By the way, just in case you did not see what I did, there is a little arrow here and you can hide the whole left panel so that it's out of your way while you're working. Down here at the bottom, there's a zoom feature, right? That you can really zoom in and look at things. So colors, what you can do is right click and apply colors to the page. And it is going to apply one of the colors from that image to the page. You can switch it around by keeping right click and apply colors to page. I actually find this a little bit easier in the mobile app. And there are very few things that I find easier to do in the mobile app than computer. And then it just picks up some of the colors within that image. If I had something else on it, like a rectangle, let's see if it picks up more than one color. It does. So you see, like if I had text or something on there as well, it would just choose colors that would work for it. And you can just keep shuffling things around. I love this feature. The other thing that you could do is click the color and scroll down. And the photo colors are right here. So you could manually change it there as well. If you are in a Chrome browser and this is not, in a Chrome browser and maybe even Edge and the desktop apps and the mobile app, there is a little uh, eyedropper too that you could manually choose. But yeah, I just love the apply colors to page. I just think that is amazing. It's been there for a while, but it's not something I've really discussed in a lot of my tutorials. And I just thought, why not share it?